G'day Tiger fans, Tiger people, we're here, it's the Gold Coast preview, and geez, I mean, this just has an elimination final vibe around it, doesn't it? I mean, for Gold Coast especially, they're going to be coming at us with absolutely everything. They sort of can't afford to lose too many games between now and the end of the season if they're going to play finals for the first time in their club history. And for us as well, I mean, we really can't afford to drop many um, going forward either. So it's a massive game for us. But these are the ones we love. This is a good test. Gold Coast are playing some seriously good footy. We're flying up there. We're playing on their home deck. Um, it's going to be a massive challenge. But we thrive on that. We love that. And these are the games we need to be winning if we want to play finals. If we can't beat sides like this... Um, then, you know, we're going to struggle come finals time anyway. So it's going to be massive. I'm looking forward to this. Um, like I said, it is on their home deck. We played there all 2020. It was our home ground for a little bit, and we didn't lose a game um, from memory on, the, on their deck. So we know how to play it. We've familiarized ourselves with it, which is a good start. Um, so hopefully that, you know, plays in our hands a little bit that we, we do know how to work that ground quite nicely, and it's not foreign territory for us, if that makes sense. But I'll go into some of our ins and outs that I think are going to be pretty important. Um, the massive one for us is Isaac Rankin. Has been ruled out, uh, which helps us immensely, I believe. It means Dylan Grimes doesn't have to focus so much on Rankin, which is who I think he probably would have taken. He can focus probably more on a Chol now, especially with Gibkiss out for us with illness. So I think he, Grimes might go to like a Chol, and that way you've got Robbie Tarrant going on Levi Casbolt, which I think is the perfect matchup. I mean, that's a really exciting one, but also a really important one, especially for Robbie. If Robbie can shut down Casbolt, they don't have too many other options up forward other than him and Chol. So if you shut, take one of those out of the equation, then... It's going to make our job a lot easier. So especially with Vlosten out as well, that intercept player. Um, we've still got Broad, obviously, who's playing his uh, 100th game for the club, which I'll touch on. But, yeah, it's going to be massive. Um, I'm loving, looking forward to the matchup. Ben Miller comes in, which is really exciting. And he could also play that role on Chol. He's quite athletic himself. And, but he's been racking up big disposals in the two. So who knows? He could just come play that intercept role and just gather heaps of possessions. He does kick the footy in a lot from the goal square in the, in the um, VFL side, which is another reason why he has a lot of disposals. But... He's still racking up the footy, which is what we love. It's what we want to see, and it's it's good thing. So uh, what else have I got written here? The meatball. How could I forget? Dion Prestia, the meatball is back, which is going to be massive because they've got a really, really good midfield group. I think we might be second in the comp from center clearances at the moment, but they're, they're right up there for around the grand clearances, like throw-ins, ball-ups, etc. So we're going to need the meatball back, especially with Dusty missing this week. The meatball is going to be really important to help us win those clearances. And you know when he's in the side, we're a much better team. Um, our midfield looks a lot more switched on. We just look more dangerous. So him coming back in is, is going to be massive. And, you know, as the saying goes, pass is not as good without meatballs. And it's the same as Richmond. We're not as good without the meatball in. So it's going to be massive having him back in the side. Um, uh, yeah, like I said, it is Nathan Broad and Marlon Pickett's uh, milestone games. So it's uh, Nathan Broad's 100th game, which let me tell you, back in 2016 when I first saw him play, I didn't think he'd be a three-time, you know, premiership player with 100 games under the belt. I mean, probably nor did he or anyone else, to be honest, especially with where we were at back then. And for Marlon Pickett to notch up his, uh, his 100th game, his 50th game, sorry, is massive, massive for him. It's um, what, a, what a story he's been. I mean, if you haven't read his book, I'd suggest you go through that. And obviously the story, we all know it. We all know where he's come from, what he's done. And for him to play 50 games, it feels like he's played more, honestly. And he's having a career best form. He's in career best form at the moment. He's absolutely dominating. One of the best wingmen in the comp. He's hitting the scoreboard. He's playing dangerous footy. Um, I'm stoked for him. It's been amazing. Um, and speaking of speaking of Marlon Pickett, we will be wearing our Marlon Story Indigenous jersey that he designed for Dreamtime this week to celebrate NADOC week, uh, which is, you know, it's exciting. It's more exciting that Marlon finally gets to, to wear the jersey he designed. He missed out the last two times. So really feeling for him. Um, I think I'm pretty sure the jumper he designed, him and his partner Jessica designed, and it represents the story of him and his family moving across from Perth to Melbourne to play for the Tigers. And I think it sort of, um, it gives tribute to each of Richmond's Indigenous players. So it's a really nice thought behind it. It's a really good looking jersey as well. If you can't see it here, it's, I mean, we all, we all know what it looks like. It's super nice. I'm loving it. Um, so yeah, really exciting. But yeah, like I said, we'll get back to the game. It's going to be massive. It's a big game for us. It's really important going forward that we get these sorts of wins on the board, give us a bit of confidence, especially away from home. After this, we've got North, and then we've got Frio, Brisbane, both at the Melbourne. But, you know, we need to get these sorts of wins on the board to give us confidence for those big games like, you know, Brisbane and Frio. So, fingers crossed, the game is tomorrow, 4.35, I believe it is. It's an awkward time. I don't love these twilight games, but it is what it is. It's a yeah, terrible time of the day, but it's going to be good. I think the sun's out up there in, in Queensland, so... Great weather for footy, you know, all round going to be a good game. So I look forward to that. But until then, hopefully we're talking about a win 
I'll be back with the Gold Coast review. And yeah, like I said, I hope we're talking about a massive win and a few scary performances for some of our boys. So until then, go Tigers.